let's take a look at how we use the scoring spreadsheet. I'm going to start in Excel and I'm going to go up to the file menu and find where I've put the spreadsheet for scoring. So I'm lucky that it is right at the top of my recent list so I can go click. So we've already put some data in here and the first thing you're going to notice it's going to give you a security warning and we just need to enable content. That'll allow us to work on this spreadsheet. So I already have data in here and uh, I'm going to go ahead and add one more person. Now what we're going to do is make a name that is really long. And I'll show you why we're going to do that in a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and put some times in. 53 minutes, he shoots like I do. And almost done. So I'm making up some numbers and some penalties in that. So before I go to the next step, you'll notice his name doesn't really fit in the cell. The first thing we're going to do is resize uh, using the resize button on the side. And it resizes the spreadsheet so everyone's name shows correctly. The second step is we're going to port into ranking. Now you'll notice we have tabs down at the bottom of the sheet uh, for various pages. When we click port into ranking, the data from your spreadsheet is now brought over to the ranking tab. Okay. Now, the next step is to go back to match, and I'm going to click on that tab. So, next thing I'm going to do is grab all this data. So I'm going to go ahead and all the way up and select all this data. And I'm going to copy it onto the results tab down at the bottom of the page. To do that, I'm going to hold the control key down, control C for copy. Notice the selection lines appear around the data. I can now go to the results tab, click in the first square of the spreadsheet and go control V to paste that data. And what we're doing is setting up a sheet that you can make a PDF of with everyone's information. The next part of making the sheet is to go to the ranking tab at the bottom of the screen and we're going to do the same thing for this data. We're going to select all the data, control C, Go back to our results tab, control V. Now we have a table uh, that we can now make a PDF of to share. To make the PDF is really easy. We're going to go back up to the file menu at the top of the screen, down to print. Because you have Office installed, you should be able under printers to choose the Microsoft print to PDF. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to landscape orientation. You can see from the demo it makes a, a lot better layout. And when we click print, instead of printing to your printer, it's going to print to a file, a PDF file. And I can go ahead and uh, give it a name, whatever name you want. I'm, I'm storing mine on a USB drive. And when I click save, we now have a PDF that we can uh, share with ASI. Now we're not done yet. To prepare for the next match we're going to go back to match and this is important. When you're ready to enter another match you need to hit the clear data and it's going to clear all the data from the sheet. Now remember you have that data down on your results tab uh, already. Not only do we need to clear the data off the data sheet we need to go down to the ranking tab and clear the data here. Notice there's a button provided for doing that. And I click clear. Are you sure? And it removes that data and sets it up for our next match entry. One of the things that you can do is rename the results tab and add other tabs at the bottom as you have various matches. So before I go and enter data here for the next match, I'm going to go ahead and rename this tab and right click on it and rename it and name it whatever you want that helps you remember what it's for. 
That way when I fill in my match data and I copy it, instead of going back to the original results tab, there's the last one, I'm going to go ahead and use the match to one. And you can continue adding tabs with the plus key and saving match results as you go along. That's all there is to it.